is a moment that is watched by all of the world. And one of the other things that uh, people will be focused on, as well as these executive orders that are due to be signed on his desk today, is who are the first world leaders he speaks to around the West, rest of the world and exactly what the tone is with those leaders. Sure, and you can imagine we'll get a readout from the new White House press team uh, as soon as the president does uh, make some of those phone calls. We'll see uh, shortly as the president here uh, making another jog to the side. Not sure. This is another uh, media. Oh, it's Mike Memley of NBC News. Uh, we can listen in. Somebody who's been covering uh, Joe Biden for a long time and knows him just about as well as any correspondent out there. Uh, the, the president is relishing this, guys. I think it's safe to say. He's enjoying himself. He's running to the side to talk to the reporters, uh, talking to the supporters, talking to people uh, who are going to be covering him over the next four years. Uh, and here it is, the president of the United States heading over to the White House campus. That is just a couple of feet ahead here uh, as the president uh, and the first lady enjoy their walk. And now joined by other members of the family as well. Had his arm uh, there around uh, his, his daughter uh, there walking in and uh, the first lady just to the other side and uh, going over again to, to uh, greet uh, another maybe reporter or supporter. Shame, Eamon, you're not there. There's no doubt you would have been top of the list of people. I, he, would, he, I would be shouting vociferously all these reporters trying to get their exclusives here. And you can't blame them really for doing that no. as, you, as you see the president uh, just enjoying the moment. Uh, and just uh, a light jog here for the president of the United States. He's heading toward the northwest <laughs> gate of the White House. Uh, where we expect that he'll turn in between uh, the White House and the Eisenhower Executive Office Building, where so many of the White House staffers have their offices. This is a president who doesn't need a map to the complex, as we were just saying, uh, Wilford. He knows his way around. Uh, he knows how these things are done. And, uh, and this is his moment, and he's clearly enjoying it. And has so much Washington experience, both in the executive branch and the legislative branch. Uh, the past two occupants of the White House uh, some have suggested, uh, for different reasons, didn't have the necessary experience on day one, Eamon. That is not uh, an accusation uh, that you could uh, throw uh, at the 46th president of the United States. Yeah, and there it is as the president walks through the northwest gate on the White House complex onto the north lawn. This is a restoration in many ways. Uh, it was the Obama-Biden administration. Now it is the Biden-Harris administration. And Joe Biden is on campus right now. Uh, and you can imagine that he's going to bring back with him so many of the officials from the, his previous time in the White House. Uh, and Democrats now have an opportunity to reverse much of what they see as the damage of the, the previous president's legacy. And the president here just enjoying the view of the honor guard as he walks down. This is a multi-service uh, honor guard uh, featuring the flags of all the states in the United States. The president making his way past the North Lawn camera positions where so many members of the media will be following him and no doubt criticizing him and questioning him from time to time.